Hey folks, Cornell with YouTube Fishing Vids. Chesty only today. I'm coming up on a beaver dam on a very steep wall here on this beautiful mountain lake where I had just done my last video with my son. I'm all by myself. I found a chance to get out here by myself for once in a long time to do some fishing. And I came up to the mountains to get away from it all. I'm the only one on a thousand acre lake. And of course I'm tossing this Ned rig right on the edge, right where I was pretty much last time to see if they're still here because water temperatures are right about the same, maybe a little dip. It's mid-morning and I got all day. So there's my first cast and my first fish of the day, guys. It's gonna be like that. I love it. That's why I come here. Literally, I just motored over to the edge here. I'm on a, uh, I'm on a real steep drop here with a super, super drop. I should say super drawdown on the lake when it comes to water levels. And there's my first bass of the day on a net rig, PB&J. That's the Z-Man Z-Lock something or other. That's the classic little TRD, finesse TRD. I went ahead and did a little nail polish job, make it red, and it is weedless. It is a Texas rig, Ned rig. Hey, pretty awesome, right? Yeah, just motored up here, just threw right up on a little piece of wood, and these fish are up shallow. Let's get at it, see how many we can catch today. Let's see if we can do it on back-to-back -back casts. I come up here because my local lake is great, but they don't have smallmouth, and I love the smallmouth. I love the variety. I love the getaway. I love the fall colors. Look at that, guys. Absolutely amazing. That's the Maryland side, and I'm on the West Virginia side up here in the mountains, and it is absolutely gorgeous today. It's probably going to be about <clears throat> 55 degrees at the most, barely a breath of wind at this point. It was a little windy last time I was out, but right now I'm in a beautiful little shady spot with a lot of fish, and there's another one right there, guys. Back-to-back -back cast. This one feels a little better absolutely awesome so yeah my first pit stop and i got right in the spot where the creek channel meets the uh <laughs> meets the actual bank and that was a walleye that was a walleye guys two casts in a row two different species again that's why i'm here all right let's go for cast number three 15 inches for the walleye i've got my stringer literally right at my feet that is waiting i got a cooler in the car the son the daughter the wife they have put in an order for some walleye so Hopefully some blackened fish sandwiches will be had. And I know a lot of catching will be had. So here comes cast number three. Let's see what's going on down there. State record walleye was kept, caught out of this lake many years ago. So there's a lot of opportunity to lock into some really big fish. Tons of rainbow trout in here. Every panfish species you can think of large mouth and gangs and gangs of little small mouth but a few big ones to boot last time i was out fishing with my son i didn't go over my arsenal with my little ned rig here i don't think but it's everything you all have ever heard if you've watched my videos but if you're new to my channel just an old school custom speed stick lose drop shot special just a medium light i believe this guy i always forget i think this is a six foot ten yeah six foot ten medium light and i got a ci4 stratic shimano spooled up with just eight pound test braid, folks. Eight pound test braid to a six pound test Cigar and Visix fluorocarbon leader. Again, to that little TRD finesse with that little shrooms head Z-Lock Texas rig weedless deal. And it just smokes them and it's very snagless pretty much. So that's three casts with two fish. Pretty damn awesome. Let's get out there again. It was pretty windy last time I was out here, so I was playing with the jerk bait, catching a few fish, but it was until I uh, picked up the soft plastic, started chucking up against the banks, that I started really whacking them. But now that it's really, really calm out here, it's gonna be super easy to control the bait, feel the bite, and lock up on some fish. So happy to have some calm winds when we're playing the finesse game in super clear water like this, and super calm water. Oh my gosh, hit it on the back, dude. Guys, I, again, I told you there was species like crazy in here and I'm reeling in the Ned Rig and the third fish is the third species, a great big rainbow trout. Rainbow trout eat, eat the Ned Rig on the way up. Insane, and he gets off, that's two fish lost. I'm not sweating it because I'm gonna be catching a whole bunch more. I had the net, I probably could have got him in here. But guys, swimming a Ned Rig in, I haven't moved, moved an inch and that's three species with 
four casts, maybe five casts. I can't quite remember, but yeah, just reeling that up. Thought I was done and he ate it on the run. That doesn't prove why I come up here two and a half hours to get away from it all down in the suburbs. I don't know what will. I mean, this place is just one of those beautiful getaways. It's, uh, it's a hike to get up here for a day trip, but it's well worth it to me. So yeah, smallmouth walleye and now a rainbow trout. I can't believe I lost those first two, but that's how it goes sometimes. But literally I've been here eight minutes, <laughs> eight minutes I've been here. I'm not joking when it comes to time with the line in the water. The trout often come up to the surface and show themselves, especially this time of year. You got all these tiny little, they look like maybe mayflies or something, but I've already heard a few splashes. But all, a lot of times those trout come up schooling and showing themselves. I've got a tiny little silver spoon, a little cast master that I always bring up here. I bring it everywhere pretty much for anything that swims, just throwing it down to suspended crappie or panfish, but the trout love it. And I've caught plenty of, plenty of bass on it too. So a little eight ounce cast master is on board. And sure enough, right there in front of me is probably a trout jumping. Insane. This place is alive and well. There we go, guys. I got something on here. I don't know what it is yet. But this is the fourth hookup of the day. It looks like a smallie. Yep, for sure. A little bit better smallie. Awesome. So cool. Guys, I love this. Look how white the belly is. I mean, they're just absolutely beautiful on the Ned Rig, up shallow. There's another one back to back cast, guys. I love it. That feels a little bit better. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. It's always something different in here, but this looks like another smallmouth. Nope, nothing bigger. Another one gone. I'm not having a very good time here keeping my fish on. I'm going to have to work on that. But that's another bite and another smallie back to back cast. Game on. There we go. Such a soft bite. Probably a little fish, but. It's a fish, nevertheless, guys. All right, on the end of a bluff wall, got myself another smallie, changed up, changed up to a chartreuse head and a green pumpkin TRD finesse. Awesome, nice chunky little fish. He ain't tiny. A lot of little fish in this lake and lots, lots of them. Huge numbers, too fun. Let's see if I find a big one. Aha, there we go. All right, folks, first drop shot fish in a while. It's a little guy, but I've got the uh, little open hook drop shot going on for another little smallie. Beautiful fish. There it is, open hook drop shot. Perfect. All right, folks, let's see what I got here. Man, that was deep. I think it's a dinky little fish, whatever it is, unless it's just not proving itself. It's swimming and it is tiny. My goodness, that is a little rock bass way down deep on my drop shot. That's the flatworm, guys. That's the green pumpkin party flatworm. And there's species number four. I didn't bring in the walleye, I didn't bring in the rainbow trout. A few smallies and now rock bass. Going back. There we go. There's a good fish, guys. There's a good one on a drop shot. I saw these fish, and I hope he stays on because this might be net worthy right here. Finally, something decent that might stay on if I'm lucky. Let's see if I can get this one in. That little flatworms, that magic little bait. And what do we got? Well, it's not as big as I thought, but it's decent. Oh my gosh, guys, that is the personal best rock bass of my life wow that thing is gigantic look at this thing i just caught my personal best dude that is too cool what a giant i thought i had something extraordinary here let's look at this thing up close in the sunshine holy crap that thing is gigantor i mean huge rock bass guys check him out look at the belly on this thing insane that is definitely my personal best rock bass absolutely incredible put up a heck of a fight i thought i actually had something down deep 40 some feet of water i saw these fish schools of stuff down there as i struggle to hold this giant i mean he's a slab look at that thing in my hand incredible let's put him back see what else is down there i got something else guys another fish down deep back-to-back -back cast and the wind is blowing this is not easy fishing right here with a drop shot but man the second it hit the bottom he came up and get it. i think i gotta school these rock bass which is kind of fun not what i'm looking for but they're chunky boy if you wanted to take one of these homes 
for a meal that'd be something else but another rock bass down deep so at least i'm seeing some fish at least getting on them the boat ramp point has got to give me one more sign out fish i got the jerk bait in my hand it's been an absolutely incredible day up here not crazy crazy fishing just an absolutely amazing day to get out here i mean look at those fall colors folks i mean absolutely gorgeous perfect weather the bite was off it should be this time of year we've got a transition going on until those water temperatures drop just a hair it's going to be like that but i can't wait because i'm going to be getting back up here when those temps get down to the low to mid 50s and this jerk bait bike is going to blow up and then it's going to get colder and when it gets colder that blade bait i mean this lake is just absolutely a blast for numbers and it does give up some really really great size so we're going to go ahead and try and get that last sign up fish and call it a night and i just did and it feels like a good one not that great it felt like a good one compared to all those little dink rock bass that i've been catching for the past i don't know how long but let's bring this little smallie in it's a beauty oh my gosh is that yeah he's he's beautiful he's skinny He's in the sunshine of that sunny sun, folks. As always, I appreciate you joining me. As always, I appreciate you subscribing. Until we meet again, over and out.